Hello, my small wonders. Are you ready for a story? I'm Tracy, and I've got a great book for you today. This one is called Worries Go Away by Kez Gray and Lee Wildish. Shall we begin? Worries Go Away There's a place where I go when things make me sad. There's a place where I go when good turns to bad. You can't get there by bike. You can't reach it by phone. The place where I go is a world of my own. A world of my own is inside my head, where no one can reach me, where no words are said. In a world of my own, there's no one but me. It's the place I escape to. It's the place I feel free. At first, when I get there, there are flowers and trees, there's birdsong and blue sky, there's honey and bees, there are cream cakes to eat, and there's cola to drink. There are benches to sit on and places to think. It's pretty near perfect. There's fun to be had. This place looks amazing, doesn't it? But after a while, it begins to feel bad. The worries I take here begin to take hold. They give me the shivers. They make me feel cold. Oh no, look what's happening to her world. My worries grow larger. They play on my mind. They start to play tricks of the scariest kind. They turn into monsters that circle and prowl, that bellow and cackle, that grizzle and growl. The blue sky above me turns black as deep space. I turn and I run, but the worries give chase. Oh, look, they're chasing after her. They won't let me lose them. They won't let me go. I'm beginning to panic. I'm starting to slow. I stagger. I stumble, I trip, and I fall. I climb to my feet with my back to a wall. My fingers feel something. Four panels or more. Two hinges, a handle. It feels like a door. There's a door in the darkness. It's too black to see. It's a door with a keyhole, minus the key. Oh, I wonder who has the key. I peer through the keyhole. My eyes open wide. People who love me are gathered outside. They've been trying to reach me. They've knocked 
and they've knocked. But the door to my world has always been locked. I stare at the door. The door stares at me. Suddenly, I realize I am the key. If I open my heart to my family and friends, my worries might go and my troubles might end. I turn the door handle and push from my side. My world fills with light as the door opens wide. Fingers reach forward to ruffle my hair. I'm greeted with kindness by people who care. Look at all her family and friends who look so happy to see her. I feel so much better, not lonely or down. And as for my worries, they've upped and left town. The next time I'm troubled, there's a place I will go. Not a world of my own, but to someone I know. Do you keep a lot of thoughts up in your head? Maybe you're sad about something you lost. Or maybe you're angry at yourself for some mean words that you said to someone. Did you remember to say sorry? Maybe you feel embarrassed for something that you did. Or maybe you worry too much about what people think about you. If you think too much about the past, or think too much about the future, these worries can make you feel really stuck. If something bothers you, it's okay to want to be by yourself for a little while, but sometimes when we share our feelings and our problems with someone, it can make us feel so much better. You never have to feel alone, my small wonders. There are many people who love you. I really hope you enjoyed this book, and I'll see you for our next story. Bye-bye.